Hi, I'm Dr. Oz. Not really. Actually, I'm Dr. Victor Forish, and today I'd like to tell you a few things about sleep apnea. Apnea is the condition of not breathing. When we are awake, we can stop breathing anytime we want. These muscles are voluntary. I can stop breathing. Sometimes children do that. However, when we're asleep, we breathe rhythmically. Our breath, our breathing rate goes down. Our breathing gets more shallow because we are not requiring as much oxygen as we are during the day. Some people are predisposed to having sleep apnea. People with a body mass index of over 40 that are severely obese, 80% of those individuals will suffer from sleep apnea. High blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, your chances of having sleep apnea are 35%. 50% of all diabetics have sleep apnea. People with an irregular heartbeat called atrial fibrillation, 50% of those people have sleep apnea. And 50% of people with congestive heart failure also suffer from sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a dangerous condition. It causes strokes. It causes people to be tired during the day and sleepy. If your job requires a focused concentration, if you work in construction or you're driving a truck or a cab and you fall asleep at the wheel or fall off of a ladder or some other uh, high uh, place where you might be working, you can hurt yourself or someone else. Not only does uh, this help prevent strokes, does the, the treatment for sleep apnea help prevent strokes, but it also includes the quality of life. People who have sleep apnea, especially if it's severe, once treated, feel much, much better. They also often lose weight because when you're tired, you also get hungry. When you eat, it seems to wake you up. So those people eat in order not to fall asleep. We can test for sleep apnea today with a very, very simple device. This is a high technology and within this small device called a unicorder by Watermark, we can test a patient's EEG. We can tell if you're in REM sleep. We can tell if you're in non-REM sleep. We can tell how fast you're breathing and we can tell what your oxygen saturation is. So here's how you use the machine. You use it in your own home where you naturally sleep. You turn it on by pressing this button, that button there. You attach the cannula by screwing it in. There we go. The strap needs to be snapped in. Make sure you snap it in snugly. It has an adjustable strap and it corresponds with hat size. So if you don't know your hat size, you'll also figure that out. I'll tell you my hat size later. You put the machine on. We also treat colds here. <clears throat> then um, you Take the cannula, put it behind your ears. There's an adjustment for it right here. And when you're comfortable, you lay down and you go to sleep in your own bed. The machine not only will tell you the parameters that I previously mentioned, but it'll tell you when you fell asleep, how long you slept for, did you wake up during the night, and also what position were you sleeping in when any particular event happened. Some people have sleep apnea only when they lie on their back. So that's easy and simple to take care of. We just force them to lie on their side and there are low tech, low cost methods to, uh, to, to get that accomplished. If you have a partner or if you record yourself during sleep and you hear loud snoring, a pause where there's no breathing and then even louder snoring, that's almost diagnostic for sleep apnea. Nonetheless, a test like this has to be made in or, or done in order for us to order the uh, treatment for sleep apnea, which is called a CPAP machine. 
Uh, other than a CPAP machine, there are other methods of treating sleep apnea. There's surgery if it's obstructive sleep apnea. And there's also a new device where a small cannula like, like this is all that you use. It doesn't work for everyone. And however, it does work for about 50% of the people with uh, obstructive sleep apnea. At our clinic, you can get this test done. It's simple. You do it in your own home. It's convenient. This is, well, I don't know if I'd want to sleep in this every night, but I wouldn't want to sleep in my glasses either. And my hat size is 10, just in case someone wants to buy me a hat. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. Victor Forsch, Central Medical Clinic, telephone number 545-2525. Visit us on our website, centmed, C-E-N-T-M-E-D.com.